Am I wrong for blowing up at a nurse for telling me that my daughter wasn't my daughter? So me and my partner adopted our daughter two years ago. We don't have any biological children and we don't really plan to just yet. Our daughter is six years old now. She does understand that she's adopted and we've made it clear time and time again that even though she didn't come from my belly, we still love her and treat her as if she did. The other day I took her to a pediatrician because she said that one of her ears felt full. She did have a cold last week so that was expected and he said that her ear would drain out eventually. All good. The nurse comes in with a discharge sheet and commented that she would never assume that I was the mother of my daughter since I looked nothing like her, which I don't for obvious reasons. So then I said, oh yeah, we adopted her, so that's why she doesn't look like me or my husband. Then the nurse goes, oh, okay, so she isn't your daughter. I was a little confused because I thought I had just explained this whole situation. I said again, she is my daughter. We adopted her a few years back. The nurse says, but technically she isn't really your daughter and her real mom is somewhere else. I was really upset because what the actual fuck? I said again, but she is my daughter and I am her mom. The nurse kind of sighed and said, okay, maybe legally you are, but her real mom is the one that gave birth to her. My daughter was looking up at me kind of confused and I can't even imagine what was going through her head. I had enough. I said to the nurse, what the hell is wrong with you? I keep telling you that I am her mother and you keep denying that and in front of my daughter no less. The nurse goes, I'm just stating a fact. Biologically, she's not yours. I went again, yeah, because she's adopted. We adopted her and gave her a home. What, I have to physically push her out of me to be her mother? The nurse goes, well, that's the dictionary definition of what a mom is. I had enough. I told her to wash her mouth of the bullshit she has been saying to me and my daughter and I left and went home. I was really shaken up at this point and still was when I got home and my husband noticed. I told him what had happened and he told me that the nurse was really dumb for saying that but I shouldn't have blown up on her like that. So am I wrong for my reaction? No, because what you had was a mother's reaction because you are her mom. I would say report the nurse too like what? That is completely inappropriate. Am I wrong for telling my girlfriend that I don't like the gift she got me and asking for something else? <clears throat> yeah, already. I don't care what it is. You can't. That's not. <clears throat> my girlfriend, 22 female, and I, 26 male, have been together for almost four years and live together. Oh, okay. Kind of sus. She was 18. You were 22, but that's okay. She has a stable career and has bought herself a car and was taught to drive in high school. I was never taught to drive and it's not really necessary because I can Uber, take the bus, or my girlfriend can drive. She offered before to teach me how to drive, but I declined because I'm not really interested in learning because I don't plan on getting a car since they cost a lot of money. So my birthday was yesterday and my girlfriend was really excited to give me my gift. It was private driving lessons which adamantly cost her several hundred dollars i was really offended because i don't want to learn to drive fool you are 26 a girl does not want to be driving her boy her husband around all the time especially at that age my ass is sitting in the passenger seat 24 7 we hate driving women hate driving i do not like driving at all she hyped the gift up like i'd love it but i honestly hate it it seems more like it's for her because she wants me to learn to drive than it's for me yo get the hint she doesn't like driving you around get a license you lazy ass I got really upset and disappointed when I opened it and she kept pushing to ask why I didn't like it. I told her again that I don't care for driving and it seemed like a really impersonal gift because I don't even want my license or a car so why would I want this? She got really upset so I suggested she return the lessons and get me something I would like better. Now she's calling me an asshole and said the lessons are non-refundable and is really upset with me. I don't think I'm the asshole because I've told her before that I don't want to drive and I feel like she's trying to change me. Calm down, that is not a change me statement, okay? So now she's being immature and won't drive me anywhere and tells me I can Uber if I want to go somewhere, even if it's somewhere she was going to go already. Like she went thrifting and to the grocery store without me, we always go together and said if I really wanted to go that badly, I can Uber. It's not even like I ask her for rides ever. I just tag along if she's already going somewhere. I get Ubers to and from work and have a good job, so it's pointless for me to even get a car or license. When I told her that, she said that she's tired of always being the driver. What did I say? What did I say earlier? When I told her that, she said that she's tired of always being the driver and likes to be in the passenger sometimes, but to me, it sounds like she gave me a gift that she wants. Because if she hates being the driver so much, I suggested that I could get lessons for her birthday, not mine, and that upset her even more. She said that isn't a gift for her and she'd be upset if I got myself driving lessons for her birthday. I told her basically, so you'd be upset if I got you something that you think is for me for your birthday. And she she said yes, so even though I explained to her that it's a double standard, she's still insisting that I'm the asshole. Am I the asshole for hitting my mother? Since a young age, my mother and I have never been on good terms. Part of me believes it was because my dad had left us as soon as my mom gave birth to me, but from what she had told me, he just signed the birth certificate and left. 
Growing up, I was always a troublemaker. I'd take away my brother's toys, hit them, bite them, and although being like that, they still loved me and cared a lot for me. My mother is an old-fashioned lady. She believes girls should be helping their mothers, obeying them, cleaning, cooking, studying, and chores while guys could play around, go out with friends, and work. So I, 18 female, am currently living with my 51-year-old mother. Recently, we've gotten into many arguments for the past three years, and I understand I did not graduate high school, made tons of mistakes, and told so many lies. But she would get very abusive like every Hispanic mother. She'd hit me with a bell, a cable, a chancla, a broom, and even the damn fly swatter. This took a toll on me, so I had to see a therapist. My mom and I went to see her, and for the first time, we had a first actually heartfelt crying session. But I should have known it was a lie, because as soon as we walked out those doors, she jumped right on my case, saying so many harsh things that even now, when I'm typing, remembering her words, they hurt so much. It's hard holding back my tears. Life with her is so unbearable. I couldn't even be friends with boys. I couldn't even play outside on the porch. I was only allowed if my brother was there, but he would be with his friends. They'd go play at the school or go to the store so I would have to go inside but then I'd sneak back out and once she found out she'd pull my hair and hit me. Am I the asshole for hitting my mother? Just two weeks ago I finally did something I always wanted to do. I re-pierced my lip and she finally found out. I regretted it. We kept yelling back and forth with her slapping me occasionally. I was tired of it and snapped so I grabbed her arm not letting go and I guess she was surprised not knowing how strong I was because she kept trying to shake her arm off and I wasn't letting go. She even kept slapping me with the other hand until I grabbed it too. She started crying calling me ungrateful and other things so she went for the broomstick and tried to hit me with it but I grabbed it as well. We fought back and forth until the broomstick snapped in four pieces. I was so enraged that I threw the pieces that were in my hand but since I was too busy yelling I didn't notice the pieces hit my mother. She pushed me and we both fell to the floor crying. Once my oldest brother came home my mom did not hesitate to start bursting out crying showing him the bruises I caused her. He let me say my piece and then scolded me for what I did. Even now I'm still so enraged for what happened but I do understand why it happened. Now she is ignoring me and won't even look my way. I really don't know what to do. I've apologized so many times, but it doesn't seem like I'll be forgiven anytime soon. Am I the asshole for asking my friend to take a shower? I have a buddy visiting from out of state and he was staying with me crashing on an air mattress in my living room. We went hiking today like seven miles and plan on going to see a movie tonight for 4th of July. When we get back to my apartment, I tell him I need to take my dog for a walk and to take a shower while I'm gone. He responds, that's what a normal person would do. For context, he's an introvert and sometimes doesn't get social cues. I don't think twice about it, grab my dog and head out for a walk. I got back 30 minutes later and he was still sitting on the couch in the same spot with his dirty hiking clothes on. I'm like, WTF bro. Am I the asshole for asking my friend to take a shower? So I'm like, ew bro, take a shower, rinse yourself and put on some fresh clothes. He responds that he doesn't like when people tell him what to do. I tell him to get off my couch and ask him how he would feel if I came into his home filthy and sat on his couch, especially if he offered me a shower. I say if he doesn't want a shower, at least sit on the kitchen stool so his sweat doesn't get on the fabric. We argued and he said he's going to find an Airbnb and then I hopped in the shower. When I got out, he was gone and I called and texted him. He told me to throw away anything that he left behind because our friendship is over. Would I be the asshole if my spouse and I had appetizers for our wedding guests but a full roast chicken for ourselves at the wedding? We're trying to save money where possible for the wedding ceremony and using Publix for the catering. My wife thinks the guests will be okay by just eating finger foods such as fruit, vegetable trays, assorted cheeses, wings, and chicken tenders. But she knows she'll be hungry and won't be satisfied with just those. She wants just her and I to have a roast chicken at the table and I think some sides too. I think it would be incredibly rude to have an openly much better meal than our guests would have. I'd be fine with just appetizers. Would I be the asshole if my spouse and I had appetizers for our wedding guests but a full roast chicken for ourselves at the wedding? Us tearing apart a full bird while our guests eat chicken tenders just feels so rude. I'd be fine with just appetizers for everyone, us included. The cost for every table to get a roast chicken would put us at $30 for a plate and that's not saving money. With every decision we make, she justifies them by going, it's our wedding, it's ours, not everybody else's. She also didn't want to have a variety of options to cater to others. She only wanted stuff she liked. 
I think we'd be total assholes. What do you think?